Cupcake. No way! Give it to me! Oh! Have you ever been teased? How did it make you feel? Sad? Embarrassed? Scared? In this program, you'll learn different ways to stop the teasing. Some people tease others because they enjoy upsetting or embarrassing people. Ouch! <laughs> what can you do when that happens? Let's find out. One day, Elliot was sitting outside at recess, just minding his own business. He was having fun, until Adam and Billy came by. Hey, stop! Shh! Me and Billy are playing a game. I don't want to play. You have to play. You're the game. It's called How Many Times You Can Poke Elliot. Two for me. Two for me. Stop. Three for me. Three, four for me. Finally, Elliot had had enough. He stood up and wrestled Adam down to the ground. They fought until the teachers broke it up. And guess what? They both got in trouble. Fighting never works. It's not safe and most times just makes things worse. So what else could Elliot have done? Well, these teasers wanted to see how much they could annoy Elliot and make him angry. By fighting, Elliot acted just the way the teasers wanted him to act, and they kind of won. What else could Elliot have done? He could have ignored them and just walked away. Let's see how that can work. Shh, me and Billy are playing a game. I don't want to play. You have to play. You're the game. It's called How Many Times You Can Poke Elliot. Two for me. Two for me. Stop. Two for me. Oh, come on, you're no fun. Yeah, you bother some Walking away and ignoring the teasers can work. If you're not there, they can't tease you. And if you don't get upset, you win. Now, here are some questions to think about. Have you ever been teased? What did you do? How can walking away and ignoring a teaser stop the teasing? Explain. We've learned that some people tease to upset others. Whoa! Sometimes you can ignore a teaser, but sometimes you can't. What do you do then? That's what Kelsey learned. Stop bothering me, John. I'm only playing. I really have to finish this. I'm only fooling around. It seems John has gotten Kelsey's attention, which is probably all he wanted to do anyway. How could 
Kelsey have gotten John to stop teasing? She could stop acting upset, then use her words to tell him in a calm, firm voice to stop what he's doing and why he has to stop. Let's see how that can work. Stop bothering me! You need to stop. I really need to finish this project. I didn't mean anything. I'm bored and I wanted to play with you. I have to finish my project, so you have to cut it out. I'll play a game with you in a couple minutes, okay? Okay. It works. No screaming, no yelling, no more teasing. Don't get upset. Tell the person how you feel and then tell them you want them to stop. Say it calmly and with confidence. Now, here are some questions to think about. Have you ever gotten angry or upset at someone who was teasing you? What happened? Explain why telling a person to stop teasing you in a calm voice works better than yelling or screaming. Bullies are people who like to tease others. What can you do when a bully tries to pick on you? Let's find out. Ellen and her friends eat lunch together every day. Lately, Ellen's been teasing and joking around with her friends. Hey, stop throwing food. I'm just having fun. You guys are no fun. Hey, I think you spilled something on your shirt. Where? Made you look. You guys are so easy. I'll be right back. Ellen's getting a little annoying with all her little jokes. I wish she'd just stop. I tell her to, but she won't. I try to ignore her. She thinks it's funny, but it's just annoying. Ellen keeps teasing her friends because her friends let her. They could make her stop if they worked as a group, made a plan, and told her all together. Let's see how that can work. What's that smell? Pew, that's her sandwich. Stop it, Ellen. It's not funny. I was just teasing. Well, we're tired of you making fun of us all the time. What do you mean? We're tired of you teasing us. I wasn't talking to you. Well, we decided that we don't like when you tease us. You gotta be kidding me. It's not mean. It's only teasing. It's a joke. It doesn't feel like a joke. You guys are such babies. See, you're calling us names again. You gotta cut it out. Or what? We're not gonna eat lunch with you anymore. Well, I just thought we are having fun. But we're not. Talking together as a group is a great way to get people to stop teasing. It's easier for a group of people to confront the teaser than it is for one person by themselves. Now, here are some questions to think about. Is teasing someone ever fun or funny? Explain. Do you know someone who makes fun of other people? Do others like that person? Do you? Why or why not? Did you ever wonder why some kids get teased and others don't? Two, two eyes, two eyes, two eyes. Well, teasers usually look for people who don't seem confident or sure of themselves. Let me show you what I mean. Hey, Andrew. Nerd boy. So this is your math homework? I didn't do mine, so I guess I'll just copy yours. Thanks, nerd boy. You see, Andrew was not confident. He looked afraid. His head was down, and he didn't even try to stand up for himself. What else could he have done? He could stand up straight, look the kid in the eye, and speak up for himself. That shows confidence. Let's see how that can work. Hey, Andrew, nerd boy. This your math homework? I didn't do mine, so I guess I'll just copy yours. No way. Nobody copies my math homework and stop calling me nerd boy. I don't like it. What a difference. See how being confident can work? Another way to show confidence is being kind to someone. Being nice to someone shows you're strong. Here's how it can work. 
Hey, Andrew, nerd boy. This your math homework? I didn't do mine, so I guess I'll just copy yours. No way. Nobody copies my math homework. And stop calling me nerd boy. I don't like it. Hey, you know, if you need help with your math homework, I can help you. Help me? Yeah, why not? Sure. OK. You see, being nice and showing kindness is another way of showing you're confident. Now, here are some questions to think about. Give an example of when you were confident. What happened? Explain how being kind to someone can show confidence. How can kindness stop a bully? So, we learned different ways to stop people from teasing without fighting. First, you can ignore the teaser and walk away. You can use your words and tell them to stop. Or, you can get together with a bunch of people and talk to the teaser as a group. And when you're by yourself, be confident and show kindness. Kindness shows confidence. No more teasing. Now you know how to make it happen.